I'm trying to learn how to do oil painting, and so I've been working on creating sort of a studio setup so that I can do it properly. And to do that, I've needed to build several different pieces for a studio using instructions from a guy named Mark Carter, Carter with a D. Uh, his website, drawmixpaint.com, and his YouTube channel are really helpful. But all of the stuff that I built for the studio is just really basic lumber and put together using some pretty basic tools. I used a jigsaw, uh, a hand, handheld sander, and... Um, a drill, and that was pretty much it to put all of this stuff together. The instructions are really simple, and these tools are all really rudimentary. Um, here they are before I painted them, and you can see that they're pretty simple in construction. I painted each one with two coats of matte black latex interior paint, and this is the palette table. The glass on top of the table I just took from some inexpensive picture frames that I bought at Walmart, and then I painted the back of them with some canvas primer that is supposed to match the color of the canvas when I put primer on it following the instructions from, again, Mark Carter and DrawMixPaint.com. Now, the reference photo holder that I have set up, I uh, am going to use this for holding the photos that I paint from because my plan is not to paint from life but to paint from reference photos and um, this is the easel that I built using the, those same instructions from that same website same YouTube channel and the idea is that you have all these holes all along it and you screw your canvas frame into the easel to keep it really stable and then it's really narrow and uh, set back away from you so that nothing gets underneath your feet while you're painting and your feet are kind of unencumbered. And I use some bricks to weigh it down, but you can see on the back it's just held using some wing nuts and those slide up and down to uh, adjust the painting's height as you paint so that you're always kind of painting at eye level. Now I built this little brush holder. It's just a two by four with some thinner pieces of wood screwed into it and some notches drilled out and uh, I only have five paint brushes right now I'll probably need more than that later as far as the paint goes this is from uh, Geneva uh, this is also Mark Carter's uh, business here he sells uh, paint supplies including the paint that's pre-mixed uh, brush dip I made myself from instructions that I found uh, safflower oil, 250 milliliters, and the ratio is supposed to be 98% safflower oil and 2% clove oil. And so that works out to about 250 milliliters of safflower oil and then 5 milliliters of clove oil. Um, I just ordered this off of a website. I'm not sponsored by any of these people, so, you know, I'm just paying for this myself and, uh, you know, Take it for what it's worth, but nobody's uh, paying me to endorse their products. But um, so, yeah, you mix these together, and uh, it's just a really basic brush dip that's supposed to keep your brushes from drying out and keep them in good condition. Yeah, you mix them together and keep them in the jar, and then just dip your brushes in this after you're done with each painting session. And that way, the paint doesn't dry into the brush. Pretty basic, and it smells pretty good as long as you like the smell of cloves, I guess. Now, last thing is the lighting for the studio. Now, it's important to have close to the light temperature of full daylight. And I, I use these uh, waveform lighting LED bulbs. I use these because they uh, don't flicker so much, especially when you do like sped up video, you won't get that flickering effect. So anyway, here's the whole setup. Uh, all in all, it cost me about $185, not including the paint, to get all of this stuff. But if you have questions, let me know. Take care.